Welcome to the first module of this front-end web development course and that is Introduction to Web Development. Today we'll be diving into what web development is and we will be keeping it simple and clear. Web development in a nutshell is just creating websites or applications for the internet. Think of it like building a house. Just like a house has different rooms, for different purposes, websites have different pages for different information. Now, what makes up web development? Mainly, it is composed of three layers. And those three layers are front-end, back-end, and the database. First, let's talk about the first layer, which is the front-end. The front-end is what you see. It is like the design of a house or a room, the facade of your homes, the front of the building, or even a cover of the book. That is what you call the front end layer. It is what you see. So if you're talking about websites or web applications, it is also what you see. So for example, the colors used in the design, the buttons, the typography, the positioning of the slider, the nav bar, and more. Moving on into the second layer, we have the back end. So what is the back end layer? Think of the back end layer as the behind the scene. It is also called or referred as the data access layer because most of the logic or the business logic is happening on the back end side. Imagine you have a home and all those plumbing or electrical works make sure that your home runs smoothly and you live comfortably. That's just how the back end works. So sometimes you cannot see those wires or those plumbing, but they are there making that your home runs smoothly. And the last layer that I'm going to share to you is called the database. The database layer is considered to be the foundation of web development. Why? Because it stores all the information that is needed for your site to run smoothly and effectively for your users. So if you're building a website that captures input from a user, you usually store those data in a database, just like how books are being stored in a library. This video is sponsored by Miro, your online workspace for innovation. With Miro, teams can manage projects, design products, and collaborate to build the future together. And it's just not another tool, it's a playground for agile teams. It allows you to have smarter planning discussions that actually help your team. And Miro increases team velocity with Scrum events. Also, you can visualize and break down complexity with collaborative diagrams and expand creativity with their developer platforms. Now I'm going to show to you how Miro can improve your productivity in an agile team. Just go to your Miro account and select this Kanban framework. Then you will have this board for your team. You will have different swim lanes where you can add and delete if you want to. So if you want to delete this team B, you can just delete this swim lane and you will have this remaining swim lane at the top. You can also resize the board if you want to. You can resize the cards if you want to. You can also reposition it where you want and you can edit the name or the title of this Kanban framework. So let's say we have an employee hero application and we're going to add another tracker here. So you just add column and then you can add the title of that selected column. And in our example, we're gonna name it in QA or in quality assurance. To move this column, you can just right click and click the move column to the left or right for that certain column. And to track the card or to add details, just click the resize button and add a title to that certain card. You can select the color and also you can choose to fill the card background to whatever style that you want to. Next, you can select the status for this card. You can have the assignee. So you have multiple team members. You can assign the ticket to them by selecting the assignee. Next, you will have the dates for when this will be done or the due date for this ticket. You can also add tags. And lastly, the description for that ticket can be defined in this card as well. So we'll just create a login and logout functionality for the application. And in here, I have created a sample backlog where I had the tickets for authentication, announcement pages, dashboard. So you can move the tickets from one column to another by dragging them into the selected column. Also reposition the tickets based on their urgency. So you can put the ones urgent at the top and just move the tickets around 
to whatever status they are on. One fun thing about Nero is you can add reactions to this board if you like or love the design or what is happening on the board. You can also choose to present within your team within these options. And lastly, you can share this by clicking the share button at the top and sharing or copying the invite link to your members. And speaking of upgrade, you can comment and can edit if you upgrade to the other plans of Miro. So you just have to go to the dashboard and we'll have the starter, business, and enterprise tiers for their upgrade options. And you will have the selected features based on the tiers that you will try or you will upgrade into. And these are the types of developers for web development. First, we have the front-end developer. We have the back-end developer and we have the legend, the full-stack web developer. So you might be asking yourself, what does these developers do? We will answer that. First, for the front-end developers. Again, we'll be keeping it simple so that you can easily understand. So front-end developers are mainly doing the front-end development of the site. So usually they are in charge of the UI and UX design of your website or your web application. These types of developers are in charge on how your website looks and how it feels to the users. They use tools such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for web development. And if they are on advanced level, they may use UI libraries or frameworks such as Angular, Vue, or even React. And next, we have the backend developers. So what does backend developers do? Backend developers are the one who's responsible on working with servers, database, and the application logic. They make sure that the data you need gets to the front end smoothly. So basically, that's how backend developers work. And lastly, the legends, the full stack web developers. So usually, they are the all rounders. Full stack web developers can handle both front end and back end development so they can build a website or web application from top to bottom alone. Understanding these basics helps you appreciate the work that goes into creating the websites and web applications that you are using daily. So in our next video, we'll dive deeper into the basics of front end web development starting from how the internet works. So stay tuned and don't forget to ring the notification bell and as well as like and share this video with your friends to not miss out on learning front-end web development. That's it for now. See you on the next video.